Oh, again. Yeah, I got this one this time. Oh, it's solid. Come on. Solid fish. Solid fish on the Jigpara. On the Major Craft. On the Major Craft. Oh, it's a good fish. That's a really nice fish. All right, so we just arrived. Today's gonna be an interesting day, so the title of this video is gonna be Can You Catch Barred Surf Perch in the Rain? <laughs> it's supposed to rain. However, the last couple days, the predictions have been rain in the forecast, but it was very, very mild, so we're thinking it'll be really good. How high is the high tide, Leroy? It's a six footer. I'm ready, I'm ready. I don't care if it's raining or not. Fish are already wet, they don't care. And we've been planning this since probably Thursday of last week, so nothing's gonna keep us from coming out. Especially since Dad picked up a new reel. Oh, yeah. Dad ended up picking up a Shimano CI4 Plus. Are you excited, Dad? I was excited. I wanna try it. Try hard. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. This has the potential of being a good one. And I got Mario's waders, so I got the good luck waders, man. That's that guy catches <laughs> fish every time he's out here. It's not him, it's his waiters that do it. Yeah, it's the waiter. <laughs> so what do you think? Waiters. Oh, they're great. They're, they're great. Thick. I think they're going to keep me warm. Beautiful. That's the new reel right there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. CI4 Plus. Good luck. Good luck to me. I'm going right now. Okay, you get the first day. So huge shout out to Mark from Been There Caught That. Thank you. Thank you, Tina from Been There Caught That. They're our local tackle store. You can shop online there. If you tell them you're part of the Hook to Cook family, you do get a nice discount. And uh, they definitely hooked it up. We were actually looking for a Daiwa BG, which they did not have in stock, but they were on order, as well as a Shimano Nasky. But since they had this in stock, they gave us a deal that we could not refuse. So talk to Mark, talk to Tina, tell them Hook to Cook sent you, and they'll hook you up. How's it feel? Oh yeah, oh, smooth, beautiful, perfect. All right, here we go. We're gonna try the Kalisa first. Let's give this a shot, see how we do. It's the beauty of fishing, is anything can happen. Got one. Oh, it came off. All right, starting to pinpoint them, but maybe that was a little small. Uh, these hooks are one size up from stock, uh, going with the size four stock on these Lucky Crafts or Kalisas are size six. And there we are, we're feeling the rain now. So <laughs> let's see how we do. See if rain affects the bite at all, if any. The weather report actually was calling for thunderstorms getting fried by a lightning storm. Does not sound fun, especially with our rod tips in the air, just like this. Hopefully we don't encounter any thunderstorms. Very nice. Pretty good fish. Let's see how it did. Again, using that size 4 hook. O'Shaughnessy 4X strong. Made sure my drag is set pretty good. Probably cast number 15 or something like that. Oh, I, I don't know if he's still there. Oh, he's still there. Come here. My drag is set pretty loose, but no, he got it pretty good. Solid fish. Solid keeper. Right there. So there's that hook. Whoa! <laughs> Woo, careful. There's that 4X strong hook. Really interesting. You can see that they've been feeding on sand crabs now. You can see that the uh, teeth around the teeth are kind of brown. Nice solid panfish right there. Put them in the satchel. All right, now that the skunk is off, hopefully we see some more. This little drizzle is not keeping them from biting so far. I missed one earlier and I just brought that one in. That was a good feeling for sure. And it's still pretty much low tide. We're actually fishing about three hours or so before high tide. So the bite should keep getting better if that last bite was an indication of things to come. 
Oh yeah, it's definitely raining now. Waders and rain jackets are definitely mandatory today. Got another one. Oh, it's a good one. A good one. It's another good one. Solid one. Very nice. Oh man, I miss this. I like literally haven't been on a good bite since uh, before we left for New York. We went to New York about three weeks ago. And even the last video where we made a bunch of announcements, it only resorted in one fish. The reports haven't been the best either. But yeah, this one's not a keeper. Kind of on the smaller side. We'll let him go, but if you guys are wondering if a size four hook is too big. I don't think so. Definitely not too big. Size four hooks, four X strong, just in case we ran into that elusive striper. This guy should be fine. And if you'll notice, I removed the second treble on this bait to reduce snagging them and bringing them in sideways. So we'll get a good release on this guy. I'm at two so far, not bad. Definitely better than the last video, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, another one, another one, that's three. Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is sick, woo! Come here, buddy. Doesn't feel very big. But he hit really nice. Again, just goes to show size four hooks are good enough, especially when you have good sized ones around. Awesome. And I haven't snagged one yet. Fish number three. This guy must have gotten caught before too, because look at his lip. This might be the same one that I caught a few videos back. When I removed the hook on this fish, I looked closer and I realized that this fish had been caught before. You can tell by the way the upper lip had already had a cut and has already started healing. I went ahead and I showed Monica this fish and after discussing it, we figured we might as well give this fish a third lease on life. Same, same lip marks. <laughs> you know what? Let's release them. If, just in case it is that same fish that I caught. I really don't mind releasing them, especially catching three in the first few minutes. So should be good. We'll get more. Oh, Martin's got one. Martin just showed up and he picked one off right now. Good morning. I kind of snagged this little guy right now. Um, he didn't, you know, obviously pick up a fight because he was snagged, but hope, hope to catch him another day when he grows. That rain is definitely coming down right now. You guys, you can probably barely see it because the angle's so wide, but we got some good rains coming down. <laughs> Double rainbow, what does it mean? Wow, that rainbow is so bright. At this point. I looked down and I realized the camera I used to get those cool underwater shots disconnected from my belt. And I started to panic because this Martin! thing could literally be I lost anywhere. My GoPro! It seriously it could have floated away into the middle of the ocean. No! Oh my gosh, I was so scared. Martin found it. So I just bought this new piece of equipment. What you guys have been seeing on the footage, and I have it attached to my belt right here. And it's a screw and it unscrewed. Uh, I was thinking worst case scenario, it got swept into the ocean. So good. You almost didn't see that cool footage. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. We got it. Oh. Yeah. Whew. So we're taking a little breakfast burrito break. Compliments of Leroy. Thank you, Leroy. Bomb. 
bomb. After that whole debacle, this is <laughs> definitely well warranted. So far the bite hasn't been on fire, but I managed to catch three so far. Leroy said he was getting hits down the beach, so we're gonna go head over there where Leroy was, see if we can't turn things around, or as this tide starts coming up, they'll get hungrier. They're definitely there, but they're just right at the end of our casks. Well, that's a good sign. I was just getting set up, and Martin already brought one in. We're at a new spot. What was it? It took like one minute. One minute and a fish. It was a good move. It was a good move. It definitely was a good move. I'm gonna try something new today, but let's watch Leroy fight this fish. But this is the Jig Para Surf Edition. So we're gonna tie this on just to see how we do. We'll give it some cast. We'll definitely experiment more with this thing, but we we got it at the Fred Hall Show. Our boy Bears G throws this a lot. This bait was just released last month. But if you guys just saw our Fred Hall Show video, this is what I ended up picking up. Oh, that is a good one. Male. Good male. male. Right? Here's the beauty of this bait. It's still compact and it has a Colorado blade at the bottom to create some flash. So this could be good for some striper or perch. So we'll see if we can get them. Leroy just hooked up on that monster. Probably a 14 incher or so. And uh, we'll give this a shot. Looks good because it's overcast right now. So that white should do really well. And then we got the tactical angler clips that we always recommend. So it's easy to swap baits around. Keeper? There yeah, go. Definitely. definitely. Definitely a keeper. We'll see how it does. Has a good array of colors. See if we can't catch a perch on it. It's one ounce, so it should cast really far. Oh yeah, that can cast so far. Already got a little bit of an issue. I don't know if you can see it, but the Colorado blade is stuck on the hook, so it's not swimming properly. Something you gotta look out for. That was just the first cast. So just like any new lure, you gotta experiment with the retrieve, see how it reacts, see how the action is in the water. So right now I'm kinda just, oh, got one! Oh, oh, it came off, it came off. I had one on. I had one on the Jigpara Surf. Oh, that's cool. All right, all right. I was just saying, that was my second cast and I was just kind of trying to keep it suspended off the bottom and I had a fish on for two seconds. I think my drag is set a little too loose, but I had a fish on for sure. That's pretty cool. And I can get really, really good distance. So this is a good alternative potentially to the Lucky Craft or the Kalisa on windier conditions. So we'll, we'll try this again. Tighten my drag. Oh, again. Yeah, I got this one this time. Oh, it's solid. Come on. Solid fish. Solid fish on the Jigpara. On the major craft, on the major craft. Oh, it's a good fish. That's a really nice fish. That is a great fish. Thank you, Tony, Bears G, for putting me on the Jigpara. Glad I visited you at the Fred Hall show. This is a, this is a big fish. Maybe. That's a big fish. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good fish. It's walking me down the beach. Three casts, two bites, and I think I'm gonna be able to bring this one in. Yes! Wow, there you go. Guess what I caught him on? The Jig Surf. Oh, one of those new ones. Yeah. That you showed on the thing. Oh, yep. nice, they work. Two casts, got it. That second hook got him, but he got the main hook. It was not a snagged fish, but 
it seems that it flutters really, really well. Nice fish on that Jigpara surf. Major craft. Solid. That was a good fight too. All right, that was pretty awesome. Three casts, two bites, one of which was landed. <laughs> That's pretty good. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a 28 gram, which equates to one full ounce. But if you guys want to follow somebody who uses that a lot, definitely check out Bears G. Good one. Another one on the Jigpara. Good one. Solid fish. Oh, he hit it vicious. That's a good fish. the jig par a major craft so again guys if you guys have followed this channel you know we like to experiment with different lures and today is no exception oh this guy's running he doesn't want to come in that's for sure but if you guys want to see what we're throwing, definitely subscribe. We're on a good one right now. Good fish. He's moving around. Oh, that is a big one. That's a fatty. Oh, that's a fatty. Wow. That's a fat fish on the Jigpara. Wow, look at that. That's a major craft fish right there. Woo! Wow! Wow! Awesome fish. Big one. On the major craft, Jig Para, 28 gram. So it's a one ounce bait. Wow. Look like how he ate it. But what's that at the end of it? It's a Colorado blade. It spins. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Sick, huh? Nice. All right, let's get this measurement. Oh, oh no. solid 15. Solid 15. It looks to be a 16. Nice. Blimp. There and you're holding it. it. Looks like a solid 16. She's a female. You can see the little eyeballs of the fish poking out. She'll probably give birth in another three weeks or so. So uh, we'll release her. Nice 15 inch female. Make sure that she can uh, go and reproduce. Well, that was a pretty cool series of events. 15 incher on the Major Craft Jigpara. Fish to quit a bit more. Uh, got another small one on the Kalisa. And then Dad stopped fishing, and it's like, why? You know, like, because I could kind of see him in the distance. And uh, as I'm walking to the truck to check on him, I look down, and there was his Kalisa just washed up on shore. The odds. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It was awesome. But. My FG not failed because I feel like uh, the super slick line that uh, is put onto Dad's new reel uh, doesn't have that gripping quality like the Power Pro does. So, highly recommend Power Pro. Oh, got one! 
Wow, he hit shallow. This is the shallowest fish that hit, or the closest fish that's hit this whole day. Every fish has been really far out except this one. Oh gosh, he's a tank. That is a tank. Wow. That's a fat perch right there. Dang it. We'll get another one. Oh, man, right there, back to back. They're really close. It's another solid one, right there. Probably five yards in front of me. Another one. Oh, but <laughs> this guy's snag. Uh-oh, got him right in the nose. All right, so we are bringing some home. Gonna have a good meal. What else? We made some observations, some key observations. One of which is today it is March 10th, and it seems that the amount of females that we were catching is definitely increased compared to our last trips. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. And then yes, watch out for babies. You can kind of see a transparent layer right on their belly and you can kind of see some eyes poking out those are babies uh, so we've been releasing those but overall it was a good day definitely a good day it's always a good day when they eat the kalisa that's really awesome and then we also caught them on the major craft jigpara which is pretty cool thanks again tony from bears g that's his channel his channel is linked below stay tuned the bite's only going to get better uh, another a reminder we do have our Cook to Cook family reunion coming up. That's gonna be April 22nd. That's it, man. Thanks, guys. This was fun. Leave your comments below. We'll catch you guys on the next one.